The last asteroid we know to have collided with the Earth, erasing the very existence of dinosaurs, happened 66 million years ago. The Chicxulub impactor was a massive asteroid ranging 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter. The impact of this dinosaur-killing asteroid was such that it created a crater at the edge of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The crater is estimated to be 180 kilometers in diameter and 20 kilometers in depth. If scientists are to be believed, the dinosaur-wiping asteroid apart from creating a crater due to its impact, propelled massive tsunamis and blue dust and water into the atmosphere, so high up, that it blocked the sunlight completely for almost two years. So imagine, if an asteroid of that magnitude were to crash into Earth now. Wouldn't that lead to the annihilation of humanity from the face of the Earth? What if you were told that another massive asteroid, of similar magnitude, is heading right towards Earth? And that it holds a chance of smashing into our Earth? As you are watching this video, NASA scientists are putting together all their resources to divert this asteroid advancing towards us at full astronomical speed. Now, it is just a matter of time before this asteroid collides with Earth. Are we ready for such an apocalypse? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. In the 1998 science fiction disaster movie, Armageddon starring Bruce Wills, he leads a team of astronauts into outer space to implant a nuclear warhead into a gigantic asteroid heading towards Earth, with the intent of splitting it into two so it moves safely over the north and south pole of our planet. Well, this was a fictional asteroid attack. If we were to separate fiction from reality, mankind has already had its share of encounters with deadly asteroid impacts. While the first most impactful asteroid collision to have hit Earth was Tunguska Bolide in 1908, the other took place in 2013. The impact of the 1908 asteroid attack resulted in the flattening of an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 2,150 square kilometers of forest. Whereas, the 2013 asteroid, almost the size of a tennis court, crashed into Earth's atmosphere at nearly 70,000 km per hour racing from southeast to northwest. The impact of this asteroid led to shattered windows all over the city, injuring around 1,500 people because of the flying glass. When the asteroid blasted in the sky it emitted energy equivalent to the detonation of about half a million metric tons of TNT. But mind you, the size of an asteroid is not the only criterion to be taken into consideration when calculating its impact. The amount of kinetic energy that is transferred to the surface in the event of an asteroid impact transforms in the form of shock waves. The higher the mass and speed of the asteroid, the larger the damage. Resulting in increased tidal waves, explosions, and seismic activity, apart from creating a crater. Another important aspect to consider is the composition and density of an asteroid. Of the many studies conducted on the fallen asteroids on Earth, scientists gathered that the majority of asteroids have a rocky composition. This means that such a type of asteroid is more likely to explode before reaching the Earth's surface. Though the damage depends on the fragment size, the metallic fragments are rarer but hazardous as they reach the Earth's surface intact, thus provoking humongous damage. To this effect, NASA scientists built the spacecraft OSIRIS-RX to track and understand the nature and course of such asteroids. This was the first U.S. mission to travel to a near-Earth asteroid named Bennu to collect samples. A potentially hazardous asteroid, it is about one-third of a mile wide at its equator, and is touted to be an ancient relic of our solar system's early days, containing more than 4.5 billion years of history. In 2018, the spacecraft landed on Bennu and in 2023 it dropped off the sample into the Utah desert. 
However, it didn't land. The Astro Materials Curation Team at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston collected 2.48 ounces of asteroid material from the sample hardware, even before removing the lid. The team then removed two stubborn fasteners. Post that, they will remove the round metal collar and transfer the remaining sample from the touch and go sample acquisition mechanism, also known as TAGSIM, head into pie wedge sample trays. The remaining material includes dust and rocks up to about 0.4 inches in size. NASA had expected the asteroid material collection to be 2.12 ounces but surpassed it with 2.48 ounces. The team of scientists is currently studying 25% of the material to gather information for future robotic and human missions. The study will further help NASA to determine Bennu's physical and chemical properties, in case of an impact mitigation mission. Bennu has a high probability of impacting the Earth late in the 22nd century, around the year 2182. The spacecraft after dropping samples from Bennu has been sent off to asteroid 99942 Apophis for sample collection. Another near-Earth object that will be uncomfortably close in 2029. It is approximately 1,100 feet in width and is estimated to pass less than 20,000 miles from our planet's surface, making it visible to the naked eye. Upon its discovery in 2004, it was termed as the most hazardous asteroid that could impact Earth. The initial observations further indicated a probability of up to 2.7% of hitting Earth in April 2029. Upon closer examination of its orbit, the 2029 impact was eliminated. However, scientists pointed out that during Apophis 2029 flyby with Earth, it would pass through a gravitational keyhole of no more than about 500 miles in diameter. This will further set up a future impact exactly seven years later in April 2036. However, the 2036 impact of Apophis was also ruled out in 2021. Due to its orbiting close to Earth, the slight chances of Apophis colliding with Earth in 2068 resurfaced. Taking upon its proximity, astronomers using powerful radar observations refined the estimate of its orbit around the Sun with extreme precision. This enabled them to confidently rule out any impact risk in 2068 and long after. According to Davide Farnokia of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, the 2068 impact is not in the realm of possibility anymore. Their calculation does not show any impact risk for at least the next 100 years. Apophis has been removed from the list maintained by the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies that is tracking the asteroids whose orbits take them so close to Earth that an impact can't be ruled out. Having said that, it is impossible to rule out the possibility of bigger asteroids, the size of New York City, hitting Earth. Descending at a speed of thousands of miles per hour, the impact of such huge asteroids is equal to that of million megatons of a bomb. Imagine an asteroid the size of a 20-story building, its impact will equal thousands of nuclear bombs. Can you fathom being struck by such a colossal asteroid? While all possibilities of an asteroid attack have been ruled out, it is always better to be safe than sorry. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.